Nicola says, so we have copiers that use a SMTP to scan docs and email to our org only. However, when I enable MFA, good old multi-factor authentication, for that account, the SMTP does not work. Anyone know a right way around this? I need a way to be able to enable security defaults and have this account be able to be used on the copier. Note, we have uh, MFA set manually on all user accounts, but it is not automatic, and I don't like that. It's not yeah, automatic. it should be automatic. Yeah. Well, so, I mean... What you need is an, a, well, as, as an application-specific yeah. password for them. That's the thing. What Microsoft did was turn off basic authentication. Mm -hmm. So you're now dealing with OAuth 2. <clears throat> and the way around that is either you have a transport that is OAuth 2 compliant, which SMTP is not, or you have it set up so that there is a specific single use, one time only, can only be used with one gadget password called an application specific password that grants you the same access. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, just to be abundantly, I was going to say, to be abundantly clear, that application specific password is in no way MFA. You're just basically setting a password that can be used by the account um, in lieu of MFA. Right. So, but only by that account and only on a yeah. one shot basis. It yeah. can't be reused. It can't be used with something else. Yeah. If you if you lose it, you build another one. Yeah, and you got to keep in mind here, they're saying that it's not on by default, which means that they're using a conditional access policy. So before they set up that password to be used with that, they're going to have to add it to the exception rule in the conditional access policy oh, right. so that the MFA does not prompt them and then still continue to cause issues. Well, my experience with with that has been is once once you've set things up with an, with, with a, an application specific password, no further questions are asked. One and done, yeah. That's that's mm -hmm. the idea behind using something like uh, <laughs> like my old my old Nokia 20, 928 phone uh, with a, my current Outlook.com account. It doesn't yeah. support OAuth two. It hasn't a clue what that might be. Yeah. But I've... with the application specific password, that question is never asked. All it yeah. sees is the that one password that can only belong to that one device and for that only one purpose and it lets it in without question yeah but then there's other processes that that like that step one for those copiers there's other processes to that that then mm -hmm. you've got to ensure that mfa is turned off or you're going to start getting prompted through that so to have the the entire flow from start to finish best practice being that you're using the application ID is to put it in the exception rule for the MFA. Just to ensure you don't have additional issues after that. Because we don't know what steps they're doing after that piece, right? So yeah. we have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. So the app specific password basically is a way to try and get 80 for the 20. You enable MFA on user accounts and whatnot, but certain devices and uh, platforms don't support the notion of MFA. Um, they were created quite some time before that existed, so they don't know how to deal with it. So we just give them a client ID and a password that's associated with that, and they use that. It's not something you would ever give to a user. Yeah. yeah. Another way, it's just an easy way also to also track what's being used through an application ID and knowing what's using MFA and what is not using MFA. So it's a great way yeah. to track that as well. Good point, Stacey.